So now we go on to the second card. The second card is the Five of Earth. This is also known as Pinnacles in other decks. It's a gathering strength, preparing, delaying, building endurance, a time of preparing to expand. And then there's my favorite numbers, the number five. The number five is all about alignment. This is where visions, dreams, and aspirations meet reality. Five represents the point where an idea meets what's actually possible. Decisions are made about what to keep and what to let go of. Then we have the elephants. The elephant symbol is about being well-grounded, physical strength, community, family. And then here we go with the circle again. It's about emotion, continuity, inclusiveness, and wholeness. Now, if you notice, we have the trees here. The trees also, in this particular card, represent the seasons. We have spring, which is about new beginning, growth, increase, opportunity, and youth. We have summer, which is about ripeness, increase, opportunity, harvest, and young adult. We have autumn and fall, which is about maturity and harvest and reduction and middle-aged adult. Then we have winter, which is about maturity, rest, stillness, and elder. Now, trees in general, when you find them on cards, are about a grounding, a sense of place, belonging, shelter, healing, activities such as time with elders, observing, anchoring, enjoying relationships, time in meditation. Some of the attributes associated with trees are about being secure, solid, well-grounded, and predictable. Now, there could be some issues with movement, relocation, or releasing the past if you have trees show up in your cards. You could also have some health challenges, skin, feet, and mobility. And, of course, there's the ever-popular careers, such as forestry, community development, farming, family counseling, and mediation. So there are some of the energies around the Five of Earth, known as pinnacles in other decks. Now let's just go ahead and continue on with the third card in this series. This is the Mystic of Bridges. This is dreaming, imagining, receiving inspiration, fantasizing. It's also a time of openness to the unknown future. And we have the color lavender and purple, which is about spiritual awareness. We have orange, which is about passion and decisive action. We have blue, which is about emotions, love, relationship. We have yellow, mental activity, clarity, logic, creativity. If it's if the yellow is kind of muddy, like it kind of if your eye goes to where it blends here, where it's a little bit muddy, it might be about confusion, creative blockage, or diversion. Now we have greens. Here's some green right here. That's the bridge underneath the bed. That's about health, abundance, fertility, and connection with nature. Now we have the wanting moon energy up here, which um, is about diminishing, time to begin to look within, solitude. We have once again the circle, and that is about emotion, continuity, inclusiveness, and wholeness. There's the blanket, which is about security, warmth, nurturance, and healing. Here's more stars. We had lots of stars over here. We've got stars here as well. So we have imagination, spirituality, generosity, and awareness of the big picture. And you can look at the first part for more definitions of stars and more details about what they could mean if they appear on a card when you're doing a reading. 
So we have a sleeping figure, which is relaxation, rest is needed, using dream time to support growth. And then we have also a road, a path, or the bridge is about an indication of direction, movement, and exploration. So those are the symbols on these three particular cards. You will find all of this information in the uh, Symbols of Tarot directory, or dictionary rather, um, and it's a part and included in The Fool, the Empress, and the Magician, Laughing Woman's Complete Tarot Reading Course. And remember what I told you before, it's available in ebook for like three ninety nine. That's like three dollars and ninety nine cents. So let's get on to what these three cards together would mean just in a general reading. It is about the gentleness of gratitude helps you step into changes and embrace them in ways that allow you to relax into the change and dream the new realities that can come from that change. Well, thanks for listening. I hope this has given you some insight into the symbols on your card. Have a great day.